The Indian Navy is all set to release the request for proposal for Project 75 by this month, but they would not be fitted with the DRDO developed air independent propulsion system, and it has not been included in the tender. The Indian Navy has asked the DRDO to prove the air independent propulsion system on a platform, before it is allowed to be integrated on the six Scorpion class submarines. In the Project 75i competition, the Navy will allow the foreign contenders to use their currently available and operational AIP systems. The winner of the Project 75i will be selected in the next two years, but the French improved Super Scorpion class submarine design, the Russian Moore class submarine, and Germany's Type 218 class submarine are currently seen as the top three contenders in the 43,000 crore rupees competition. In a significant development, India has successfully tested a 450 km range variant of the BrahMos cruise missile, from the launch pad number 5 of the integrated test range at 10.15 am. In response to Greek media report that the Greece Air Force will likely test the BrahMos missile from its Rafale fighter jet, industry sources have said that modifying the Rafale fighter jet to carry the air-launched BrahMos missile is not possible in India, but there is a chance for the BrahMos NG in the future. The chief of BrahMos Aerospace had said last year, that the feasibility studies and engineering analysis of the BrahMos NG are completed, and it will be ready with the BrahMos NG when it is demanded by the Indian Air Force. Brazil has also expressed interest in the BrahMos NG for its Gripen fighter and nuclear-powered attack submarine, while the Greek Air Force will start receiving its French Rafale fighters by the end of 2022, and if the Indian Air Force is interested in the program. All three variants including the land, air and sea variants of the BrahMos NG will be ready between 2022 and 2024, that might also result in several export orders. The Indian Army has released a request for information for multi-spectral camouflage sniper suits, that will provide camouflage as well as protection against thermal infrared sights and similar surveillance equipment used by the enemy. 40% of the suits must be optimized for subtropical dry evergreen and snowbound region, 30% of the suits must be optimized for subtropical pine and subalpine and alpine forests, and remaining 30% for cold semi-desert and snowbound region. The sniper suit should reduce the detection by 100% from 800 meters with high-resolution binoculars, and 400 meters from passive night vision sites. The Indian Army has also released a request for information for two different types of water-resistant sniper tents, that should accommodate two men, that will augment their capability in thermal and infrared surveillance environment. The DRDO will modify the advanced towed artillery gun system with certain Army-specific requirements, that will replace the electric drive with hydraulic-assisted manual drive system, which will result in easy maintainability, lower weight of the system, as well as lower cost, that will make the attacks more aligned with the requirement of the Indian Army. The Army will start summer trials with this modified gun, and might also conduct the high-altitude trial again with these modifications. Once acceptance tests are completed, Hindustan Aeronautics will deliver the first batch of three light combat helicopters to the Indian Air Force, that are part of the 15 Limited Series production. HAL is also producing four more units for the Army and two more units for the Air Force in this fiscal year, while the remaining six units will be produced in 2022, that will complete the Limited Series batch of 15 helicopters. The first batch of 30 switch tactical drones have successfully completed trials in harsh weather conditions and high altitude regions in eastern Ladakh sector and northern and western borders, and Idea Forge will deliver the first batch by the end of August to the Indian Army. Idea Forge will also deliver the remaining 90 drones by the end of this year, that will give a big boost to the intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capability of the Indian Army. 
the 10th P-8I long-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft scheduled for delivery to the Indian Navy has taken off from the Boeing facility and will land at INS Hansa in Goa very soon. Boeing will also deliver the remaining two aircraft in the coming weeks, that will increase the P-8I fleet strength to 12 aircraft. The aerobatic team of the Indian Air Force will be participating in the MAX 2021 International Air Show from 20th July in Russia. Droof helicopters have been loaded into C-17 strategic transport aircraft, and they will leave for Moscow very soon. The Indian Navy chief will also be visiting Russia later this month, during which he will meet the Russian commander of the Northern Fleet Admiral Nikolai Yemenov, and he might also visit the Yanta shipyard where the two advanced Talwar class frigates are being constructed for the Indian Navy.